go up to Martin County right now. We have Local 10's Joseph Ojo live in Stewart with the very latest on the conditions there. Oh, we can see the rain has started in your area again, Joseph. Good morning, guys. We have actually moved from Stewart to here to Sewell's Point, and this is the area that's really surrounded by water. And what we have seen as this rain has picked up is that they're still dealing with the impacts of Nicole. You can even take a look for yourself right now. You can see that strong rain. It's coming on in a side on a certain angle and has these trees definitely blowing in the wind right now. The thing we have noticed is that in some areas, you know, the water has receded on some parts of the streets, but when you kind of step in along this area, you will see that it's more flooding that is uh, taking over. This is the main thing a lot of these residents were definitely worried about. We even had to stop our car just to stop here and not get too close to the water, but the flooding is the big uh, concern these people worry about. This is the threat they were worried about, and not only here, but other parts of Martin County, they were dealing with Nicole as well. We're going to get a lot, of, a lot more rain and water of Nicole felt in Jupiter and surrounding areas. Rising water, rough waves and currents slowly taking over parts of the beach. Winds picking up speed along with sideways rain. Nicole making for some dangerous road conditions for hours seawalls pounded by strong waves. Our cameras capturing it take over the Palm Beach Marina flooding parts of Flagler Drive and along the banks of St. Lucie River. Parts of Palm City were also covered in water early Wednesday. Into the night, strong gusts could be seen. Residents say it could get worse before getting better. The late season storm pushing ocean water inland in Port Salerno, the boat ramps and this dock outside the popular Twisted Tuna submerged. You've never seen the water this high here? Nah, never. And so back out here live taking a look at a lot of this flooding again that is creeping up onto a lot of these people's home. We've seen rain in spots and even water covering some signs here. Some of these signs on the water as we were driving in other parts of Martin County, as I mentioned, dealing with this rain. With this rain, you know, it was a situation that a lot of people were definitely expecting much worse when it came when they heard a hurricane. But to look at things now to see how there isn't as much damage as we've been going up and down the street is actually a pretty good sign to see that it's only flooding that they're actually dealing with versus, you know, major damage when you hear a big storm of some sorts. We'll send it back to you guys. We're here in uh, Sewell's Point. I'm Joseph Ojo, Local 10 News. What a difference. Last time we yep. saw him, I made mention that he didn't have his hood right on, yeah. of his rain jacket on because it was nice and clear. And then we go back to you now and you're definitely getting those rain showers. Yes, it just it, it, it's crazy how it just picks up it's, it's been on and off. You know, while we were in Stewart, it seemed like the rain just went away, but all of a sudden it just picked up again. So Nicole is definitely still turning at this time. You know, the winds are blowing trees, whipping left and right. So on and off rain, heavy winds. We've definitely been seeing it. We even seen this water being pushed by the strong winds that are here on this street. You know, some cars even pass and we have to duck for cover ourselves because, you know, you don't want to get all wet and we got to protect our gear and everything. So but definitely a much different uh, sight than what we've seen on and off rain. But now it's definitely picked up and the winds are picking up as well, too. Yeah, what's nice is uh, the banner at the bottom of our screen right now, Joseph, you can see our radar and you, of course, you see the wraparound effects of that hurricane. So you can almost see when those bands are coming through, where the break is. Julie and Brandon are always telling us exactly how that works, even as the storm's moving away and downgrading. Yes. All right, Joseph Ojo live for us this morning in Seawalls Point, kind of right there between Stewart and uh, and Stewart Beach, that mm -hmm. little skip of, skip of land right there. We're going to check in with you throughout.